Namaste. Welcome to the lecture series on the subject Applied Thermodynamics. This is module 1, part 2, IC engines. So this is lecture number 15. Myself, Dr. N. Satish Kumar, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kendra Engineering College, Pantol. So in this lecture, so I will be discussing few of the numericals. Uh, few of them might have appeared in uh, VTU question papers also, but I'm not giving any solution here. I mean the answers. Okay, but I'll give the idea how to solve these questions. Okay Let us analyze uh, this question A test on a single cylinder four stroke oil engine having a bore of 15 centimeter and stroke 30 centimeter gave the following results speed 300 rpm brake torque 200 Newton meter mean effective pressure 7 bar, fuel consumption 2.4 kg per hour, cooling water flow 5 kg per minute, cooling water temperature rise 30 degree C, air fuel ratio 22, exhaust gas temperature 410 degree Celsius, specific heat of exhaust gas is 1.0 kJ per kg per Kelvin, room temperature 20 degree C, room pressure 1 bar, CV of fuel 42 MJ per kg, take R is equal to 0.2872 kJ per kg per Kelvin for air. Determine indicate thermal efficiency, volumetric efficiency based on atmospheric conditions. Draw an energy balance sheet in terms of kilojoules per minute and percentage basis. Okay, let us uh, discuss this. So, it is a single cylinder, very important, four stroke. Okay, bore is 15 centimeter, 0.15 meter, stroke is 0 0.30 meters. Speed is given, capital N, brake top T is given, PMI is given, 7 bar, convert into Pascal, 7 into 4 for Pascal. Look at the fuel consumption, it is given in kg per hour, let it be in kg per hour initially. Cooling water flow, so that is MW is given 5 kg per minute, look at here, it is given per minute. Temperature is this, T2 minus T1 is 30 degrees Celsius, air fuel ratio, MA by MF is given. So you have to use this to get MA, so MA by MF is 22, MA by MF, okay, is MF is equal to 22, so MA is equal to 22 into mf that is 2.4 22 sorry taking 22 uh, into 2.4 so this is how it is the air fuel ratio is used to calculate the mass of air okay then exhaust gas temperature te uh, cpe specific heat of exhaust gases room temperature tr room pressure is given okay that is a, i'll tell you where it is used then c of the fuel is 42000 kilojoules per kg or 42 megajoules per kg r is also given i'll tell you where it is used okay now first you have to find out the indicated thermal efficiency okay so let me erase this so indicated thermal efficiency is nothing but ip into 3600 divided by mf into cv so ip you have to calculate so ip is a single cylinder engine so pmi lan by 60 so PMI is given 7 into 5, uh, L is uh, 0.30, A is pi d square by 4, as you can use the diameter here, a small n is uh, capital N by 2, so where is capital N, ok here, so 300 by 2 because it is a 4 stroke engine, divided by 60,000, so that is how you have to calculate IP. Then calculate indicated thermal efficiency. IP into 3600 divided by MF into CV. MF should be in kg per hour itself. That's why I told you not to convert this in the initial stage. Then you have to calculate volumetric efficiency based on the atmospheric conditions. So let me explain this. So eta volumetric, so is nothing but actual volume of air drawn in during suction stroke to the swept volume. That is VA by VS. So as all of you know, so VS is nothing but uh, swept volume, which is nothing but pi d square by 4 into L area into pi d square by 4 okay into L this is meter cube per cycle but here the mass flow rate is given in kg per hour okay uh, so here or you can convert that into kg per minute so this uh, suction volume also you have to convert into meter cube per minute for that you have to multiply this by uh, speed rpm revolutions per minute or cycles per minute so pi d square by 4 into l so pi d square this is square okay 
So pi d square by 4 into L is a swept volume, swept volume per cycle into number of cycles per minute. So that gives us meter cube per minute. Be careful here, meter cube per minute Vs. So since Vs is calculated in meter cube per minute, so Va also you have to calculate meter cube per minute. So how do we calculate Va? That is very important. So that is where this room pressure and this R is used. So you have to use make use of the characteristic gas equation that is Pa Va is equal to M A R A T A R A T A. So here you want V A from this expression. So that is M A R A T A divided by P A. So what is M A? Mass of air. So mass of air, you know air fill ratio. So I just uh, here I have sh shown you how to calculate M A. That is uh, uh, 22 into 2.4 because the air fill ratio is 22 into MF is uh, uh, 2.4 okay so this will get 22 into 2.4 okay uh, this you will get it in kg per hour okay so you have to convert this into kg per minute because here MA should be substituted in kg per minute so divide this by 60 divide this by 60 so 22 into 2.4 by 60 so that will get kg per minute so if you substitute this in kg per minute then ra is given here 0.2872 ta is atmospheric temperature there's nothing but room temperature 20 plus 273 293 Kelvin. then pa is atmospheric pressure or room pressure it is given one bar per 100 kilopascal remember pa is 100 uh, kilopascal because r is substituted in kilojoules so p should be substituted in kilopascal be careful about this so then you will get VA. I hope all of you should uh, understood this. So if you calculate VA, then you substitute in this uh, efficiency formula. So you will get the volumetric efficiency VA by S into 100. You will get it in percentage. Then to draw the heat balance sheet in terms of kilojoules per minute a percentage basis. So all the mass quantities you have to take it in kg per minute. So here except fuel MF. So that is given in kg per hour. Okay. So that you have to convert into kg per minute. So MA already calculated here in kg per minute. Use the same quantity. So kg per minute. Okay, I'll write here kg per minute. Okay. Uh, water is also given kg per minute. So that you know because I spoke about this in detail in my previous three lectures. Okay. So use all mass quantities in kg per minute. Thank you. Now let me discuss this problem. During a trial of a single cylinder four stroke oil engine, the following results were obtained. Cylinder diameter 20 cm, stroke length 40 cm, IMEP 6 bar, torque 407 Nm, speed 250 rpm, oil consumption 4 kg per hour, CV of oil 43,000 kg per kg, cooling water flow rate 4.5 kg per minute, air fuel ratio 30 is to 1, resin cooling water temperature 45 degrees Celsius, Temperature of exhaust gas 420 degrees Celsius, room temperature 20 degrees Celsius, mean specific heat of exhaust gas 1.0 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin, specific heat of water 4.18 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Draw up the heat balance sheet on uh, for the test in kilowatt in the percentage. So, okay, so it is a single cylinder, uh, four stroke, note this first. Uh, D is given 0.2, L is 0.4, PMI is 6 bar, 6 into 2 5 Pascal, T is 407, capital N is 250, MF is 4 kg per hour, CV is given 43,000 kg per kg, MW is 4.5 kg per minute, be careful here, air fuel ratio is 30 is to 1, T2 minus T1 is 45 degrees Celsius, exhaust gas temperature T is 420, room temperature is 20, uh, CP is 1, CP water is 4.18, no problem. So here directly you draw the heat balance sheet, but it is very necessary to you have to calculate BP first. So without BP you cannot draw the heat balance sheet okay because heat equivalent of BP is required okay and uh, okay PMI is given I think it is of no use here because you are not supposed to calculate IP okay still you can calculate IP also no issues but while doing heat balance sheet be careful here the basis is kilowatt that is kilojoules per second so all mass quantities you have to take it in per second kg per second basis so fuel consumption is 4 kg per hour is given so 4 divided by 3600 whereas water flow rate is given 4.5 kg per minute divided by 60 air fuel ratio is given 30 is to 1 
so you have to multiply this by 4 to get a mass of air but it is per hour so divide it by 3600 to get it kg per second the okay, rest of the calculations as usual okay okay let me analyze this question as well in a test on three cylinder four stroke ic engine with the 22 centimeter bore and 20 centi 26 centimeter stroke the following were the observations during a trial period of one hour okay let me analyze directly so it is a three cylinder engine k is equal to three four stroke d is 0.22 meter stroke is 0.26 meters be careful here duration of the test is one hour okay trial period is one hour so mf is given it is 8 kg per hour cv is 45000 kg per kg total revolution of the crankshaft is 12000 so speed if you want to find out so 12000 in one hour so divided by 60 to get it in rpm mean effective pressure is 6 bar net load on the brake is 1500 newton brake drum diameter is 1.8 meter rope diameter is given 3 centimeter is 0 0.03 meters so effective diameter of the rope brake or rope sorry brake drum r is equal to db by dr by 2 db plus dr by 2 diameter of the brake drum plus diameter of the rope by 2 so uh, as usual okay so that is you have to be careful here then mw is given so it is 5 given 550 kg per hour it is then inlet temperature of what is given separately given t1 exit temperature t2 is given separately air consumed is 550 it is again kg per hour room temperature is given or atmosphere temperature is given 30 degrees celsius exhaust temperature is 310 specific heat of exhaust gas is 1.1 so you have to calculate ip uh, ip is pmi k pmi ln okay ip so it is k pm lin because it is three cylinder engine be careful okay i would write full formula k pmi uh, L A N by uh, 60,000. So K is 3. Okay. Then BP is equal to 2 pi N T by 60. So W minus S into R for T or substitute. Then uh, BP by IP is a mechanical efficiency. IP into 3,600 by MF into CV is indicated thermal efficiency. So here IP should be in kilowatt. MF should be in kg per hour. Also draw a heat balance sheet in kilojoules per minute basis. So all the mass quantities, mass flow rates are given in kg per hour. So divided by 60 to convert into kg per minute first. So then uh, solve the problem. Okay. Okay, let us discuss this question. The following readings were recorded during a trial on a single cylinder. So I'll just straight away uh, discuss this. So single cylinder K is equal to one two stroke. Be careful here. It is a two stroke engine. Power supplied by the electric motor 1.5 kilowatt. Okay, let us see what is that. Speed N is capital, uh, capital N is 500 rpm. Effective load that is W minus S is 225 newton. Diameter of brake drum 100 centimeter. So diameter it is okay. Uh, that is uh, 100 centimeter is 1 meter. Okay, mass of cooling water circulated is 13.65 kg per minute. Rising temperature of cooling water is 10 degrees C. Fuel consumption is 2 kg per hour. CV is 43,000 kilojoules per kg. Air fuel ratio is 32 is to 1. Specific heat of exhaust gas is 1.006 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Exhaust gas temperature is 345 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Atmosphere pressure is 1 bar. Bore is equal to stroke is equal to 30 centimeter. Fine. So here uh, you have to calculate mechanical efficiency. So mechanical efficiency means eta m is equal to BP by IP. Okay. So let us see how to do these calculations. So BP is nothing but 2 pi nt by 60. Right. BP is nothing but 2 nt by 60 thousand kilowatt. So 2 pi n is given here 500 rpm. Uh, T is W minus S into R. W minus S is 2 nt per newton. R is uh, 1 meter by 2. So 0 0.5 meter because 100 centimeters is 1 meter. So there is a diameter. Radius is 1 by 2. 0 0.5 meters. So easily you can calculate BP. Now come to IP. If you read the question, no data is given uh, to calculate uh, IP. That is especially the mean effective pressure has to be given. So here it is not given. But look at the first data here. Power supplied by the electric motor is given as 1.5 kilowatt. So I believe this is a given uh, as a, a motoring test is conducted on this engine and uh, in that test the power supplied by the electric motor the dynamometer which is uh, uh, converted to 
work as a electric motor so it supplies 1.5 kilowatt in the sense so that is friction power of the engine because most test you uh, sorry motoring test you studied so power supplied by the electric motor is nothing but friction power so if this is friction power so then i can calculate what is ip because as all of you know ip is equal to bp plus fv because ip is the power developed inside the engine cylinder and bp is the power available at the crankshaft so what is the loss so loss is the power that is used to overcome the friction that is fp so that is why ip is equal to bp plus fp so if you take this a uh, power supplied by electric motor is 1.5 kV as a friction power so then only you can calculate ip as bp plus fp okay so there is no me mention of the word motoring test so but uh, we should take it as a power supplied by the electric motor as the friction power because there is no other way to find out ip here correct okay so then you find out indicated thermal efficiency ip into 3 to 600 by mf into cv brake thermal efficiency bp into 3 to 600 divided by mf into cv both ip and bp should be in kilowatt mf should be in kg per hour then bsfc is nothing but mf by bp then bmep uh, that is bp into 60 into 1000 divided by la n so that is how you have to calculate okay Coming to the next question, during a 60-minute trial of a single-cylinder four-stroke engine, so 60-minute trial means it is a one hour, okay? So duration of the trial is one hour, 60 minutes. Single cylinder, it is a four-stroke engine. Uh, bore is 0.3 meters, directly given in meters. Stroke 0.45 meters. Fuel consumption 11.4 kg per hour. It is because it is a 60 minutes test. Or divided by 60, you get kg per minute. Calorific value is given 42,000 kilojoules per kg. PMI is given 6 bar. Net load W minus S is given. Speed capital N is given. Brake drum diameter DV is given. Rope diameter DR is given as 20 mm. Be careful here. This is meters. So this is 0 0.02 meters here. Quantity of jacket cooling water 600 kg divided by 60 how to do it kg per minute or directly 600 kg per hour. Rising temperature of this water is 55 degrees Celsius. Quantity of air, mass flow rate of air, ME is given 250 kg per hour. Exhaust gas temperature is 420, ambient temperature is 20, C P for gas is 1 kJ per kg per Kelvin. Find IP, BP, mechanical efficiency, draw the heat balance sheet on minute basis. So this is June, July 2019, 15 ME, 43. So very easy question. Uh, especially while doing heat balance sheet, be careful. The uh, trial is conducted for 60 minutes. So mass flow rate is given per hour. You have to convert that into per minute because you are asked to calculate the or draw the heat balance sheet on the minute basis. So all mass quantities take it in uh, kg per minute. So I hope uh, there is no other uh, issues with this uh, or problems with this numerical. Okay, direct question. BP is uh, 2 pi NT by 60. I IP is PMI LAN by 60,000. Okay, I, BP also 60,000 divided by 60,000. Mechanical efficiency, heat balance sheet, no issues. Good. Now coming to this question, so a single cylinder, okay, four stroke, make a note of these things. Engine gave the following results while running at full load. Area of the indicator card, okay, very important, this is small a. So this is a problem one, indicator diagram. Spring constant, one bar per millimeter, small s. Length of the diagram, L is 40 millimeter. So here A, 300 millimeter square, S is uh, one bar per millimeter. L is 40 meters. Let everything be in the given unit itself so that you can calculate PMI. So you have the formula when you are using indicator diagram A into S by L. So here the unit which is be attached to this PMI will be this unit. That is one bar. So sorry, bar. That is bar. Okay. So no, not one. It's a bar this unit okay bar so per millimeter and this millimeter square and this millimeter so it gets cancelled okay when substituting can check because newton numerator a millimeter square yes is one bar per millimeter millimeter will come to the denominator denominator again one more millimeter is their length so millimeter square in the numerator and millimeter square in the denominator gets cancelled so we'll get the unit for the uh, mean effective pressure as the bar so this is an important thing. Whenever indicator diagram details are given, this is how you have to calculate the uh, mean effective pressure. 
Then further continuing speed of engine capital N is given W minus S load on the brake drum. Okay, it is not W, w minus S, it is load on the brake W. Okay, this is W right here. And spring balance reading. So this is yes. This is yes. Okay, W minus S you have to substitute later. W and S separately. The diameter of the brake drum is given 1.2 meters. Diameter of the cylinder capital D is given. Stroke of the piston capital L is given. C of the fuel is given. You have to calculate indicated mean effective pressure. So that is calculated here. Okay. Indicated mean effective pressure. PMI is equal to A into S by L in bar. Convert into Pascal. BP you have to calculate. 2 pi N T by 60,000. 2 pi N is given. T is W minus S into R. R is 1.2 divided by 2. Okay. Diameter is given. Radius is R by 2. Or D by 2. DB by 2. Okay. That is R. So BP no issues. Then break mean effective pressure you can calculate BP into 16,000 divided by uh, LAN. Okay. Small N is capital N by 2 because it is a four stroke engine. Then BSFC is nothing but uh, BSFC that is break specific fuel consumption. Okay. MF by BP. Break specific fuel consumption. Specific fuel consumption is MF divided by BP. So this is a question from the YouTube question paper, December, January 2017-18 under this scheme 15 ME 43. But if you look at the question, nowhere MF is given. So MF is not given. So just write this formula in the exam and write a note that MF is not given. Hence this BSFC cannot be calculated. You will get full marks. No issues. Okay. Uh, because there is no other way to solve this uh, because there is no MF. Then break thermal efficiency and indicate thermal efficiency you can calculate BP into 3600 by MF into CV similarly IP into 3600 by MF into CV. Okay. Uh, here BP should be kilowatt, IP should be kilowatt, MF should be in kg per hour. Uh, there is no heat balance sheet calculations involved. So with this, uh, this is how you can solve this problem. Okay. Next question, in a trial of a single cylinder oil engine working on dual cycle, okay, it's a dual cycle problem. The following observations were made. Fuel consumption is 10.2 kg per hour. Calorific value is 43,890 kg per kg. Air consumption is 3.8 kg per minute. Be careful here, this is given per minute. Speed is 1900 RPM. Torque on brake drum, capital T is 186 Newton meter. Cooling water is 15.5 kg per minute. Temperature rise is 36 degrees Celsius. That is T2 minus T1. Exhausted gas temperature T is 410 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. CP of the exhaust gas is 1.17. Calculate brake thermal efficiency. That means first you have to calculate BP for that. So BP is 2 pi NT by 60,000. So 2 pi N is 1900. Torque is directly given 186. So 2 pi NT formula directly you can use. Then brake thermal efficiency is BP into 3600 by MF into CV. So MF is given 10.2 kg per hour. CV is given. Substitute BP in kilowatt. Be careful. Only two things uh, you have to do. Then directly you can draw the heat balance sheet on the minute basis. So only thing is MF you have to convert into kg per minute because rest of the mass flow rates are given in kg per minute. You can see air, water, everything is given kg per minute. So only thing is mass flow rate you have to convert into kg per minute from kg per hour. So, no much uh, issues with this problem. Then coming to this question number 18, uh, during a test on a single cylinder four stroke oil engine. So, single cylinder uh, four stroke oil engine, bore 30, stroke 45, duration of travel very important, one hour, total fuel consumption is 7.6 kg, that means 7.6 kg in one hour. So, 7.6 kg per hour. Calorific value is 45,000. So only the mass quantities has to be divided by the duration of the trial. Okay, other quantities should not be done. Uh, but uh, this is there. If the total revolutions are given, then uh, again it has to be divided by 60 to convert into RPM. Mean effective rate is 6 bar. Net brake load is uh, 1.47 kilo Newton. Be careful, it is kilo Newton. So it is 1,470 Newton. Brake drum diameter is 1.8 meters. Rope diameter is given. Okay, 3 centimeter. Mass of cooling water circulated in uh, through the cooling jacket is 50 kg per hour. Water enters at 15 degrees Celsius. So T1. Water leaves at 60. T2. Total air consumption 360 kg. Uh, that is per hour. Room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Exhaust gas temperature is 300 degrees Celsius. 
calculate indicated power IP. So a single cylinder, so PMI L A N by 60 by 1000. So PMI is given, L is given, A by D square by 4, small n is uh, capital N by 2 because four stroke engine. Okay, BP is 2 pi NT by 60. 1000 no issues indicate thermal efficiency you can calculate mechanical efficiency you can calculate draw the heat balance sheet on the minute basis so all mass flow rates are given per hour so convert that into per minute before you start the heat balance sheet so you might have seen my previous uh, three lectures wherein i solved plenty of problems on this chapter okay that is ic engines you can go through that okay mm. okay that, that is it for this problem. Then in a test of four cylinder four stroke petrol engine of uh, CB here careful four cylinder K is equal to four four stroke petrol engine 75 mm bore 100 mm stroke. The following results were obtained at full thro throttle at a constant speed with a fixed setting of the fuel supply at 0.082 kg per minute. So MF is given as 0.082 kg per minute so now here is a most test is conducted here so bp with all the cylinders firing so bp total it is so this is bp total 15.24 kilowatt bp with cylinder number one cutoff this is bp1 then this is bp2 bp3 and bp4 so you know why this BPT and BP1, BP2, BP3s are given. So to calculate IP1, IP2, IP3 and IP4. So just uh, go through my, one of my previous uh, problems solved in one of the previous lectures. Okay, so there I clearly explained how to calculate IP1, IP2, IP3, IP4 and then sum up that to get total IP of the engine. So you have to calculate IP indicated power that is what I told you just now then indicate thermal efficiency IP into 3600 by MF into CV if CV of the fuel is 44,000 kilojoules per kg or 44 megajoules per kg the relative efficiency based on IP if clearance volume in each cylinder is 115 degrees Celsius since it is a petrol engine it is mentioned here so relative efficiency you have to calculate so relative efficiency is nothing but indicate thermal efficiency divided by air standard efficiency so that also i saw in one of the previous problems so your clearance volume is given so as to facilitate us to calculate the compression ratio so the compression ratio is nothing but vs plus vc by vc so vs you have to calculate using stroke and the uh, diameter of the bore or the piston so pi d square by 4 into l that is a vs so vc is given so calculate r calculate uh, Astronaut efficiency, then indicate thermal efficiency is already calculated, so you can calculate the relative efficiency. Uh, okay, so this is meant for only these performance parameters, there is no heat balance sheet calculations involved in this problem. So, with this, my dear friends, so I conclude this module one. So, a very big uh, elaborative session, so I gave here, so almost 15 lectures. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, this is uh, enough for this uh, module so thank you for watching my videos on this subject so if you really like this video please do like share okay and subscribe for our channel thank you all the best for your exams